Good morning, this is the Outdoor Artist. I wanted to give you a quick look at a new tool that we've gotten, which is a electric golf cart made by Club Car. Uh, purchased this from a dealer near Buffalo, New York. A uh, very good dealership there. We had it configured with this aluminum box on the back since we don't really intend to use it as a golf car per se, but more as a utility vehicle. Um, and so far it's just been a fantastic uh, tool. This uh, you can see under the seat here is a nice set of batteries, uh, six 12 volt batteries under there, uh, good condition. Keep those nice and clean and fresh. Uh, really came ready to go. The only thing I have added is uh, on the back until I get a uh, receptacle, like a trailer hitch type receptacle, I added a small uh, rope there that you see that I hook on my toboggan and other tools to, to pull around if they won't fit or I don't want to use the, uh, the uh, box uh, for that. So the uh, this has been a great addition and while I'm uh, while I'm at it maybe we'll um, try to give you a tour with the um, using the golf cart so you can see some of the areas and how they fit together that we've been talking about. Just going to flip this to the windshield and hopefully you can get a view of what's going on as I drive. I'll try to talk a little louder uh, just in case my voice is not quite loud enough. I'll talk a little bit louder. So we're driving up around the putting green. This is a this will be basically a perimeter road around the putting green. And come down around one of the uh, irrigation hoses. Now one of the things I want to point out is this road that we're on that comes in from the quarry road. I'll just stop here for a minute. You can see this road through the forest is uh, pretty well uh, dug up, and we've been we've been putting in uh, stone from the forest uh, that we dragged down from a couple piles that were left up there probably a hundred years ago. We've been dragging those down and, and dumping those just to fill that in. On Monday, uh, several days from now, we'll get uh, 33 cubic yards of number two stone. And then we'll, we'll pour that into these ruts and it'll help to fill in and make a nice flat surface. But for now, you're going to see some wiggling as we move across this uh, rough surface to get out to the quarry road where things settle down uh, quite a bit because it's smooth out there. But this is obviously not uh, very smooth, at least not yet. son-in-law and daughter also helped me. My wife has been helping me. Everybody's been helping to fill this. Some of the neighbors have helped fill this uh, road in to get it even to the condition it's in. This was largely rutted up from the equipment that we used to bring in the material for the putting green. So it's a little bit of our own making. So I'm just going to start with a view of you down to the the left here. You can see it's a nice view down through the forest and now this road goes right down and actually connects to a city street down there past the end. Um, when, I say, when I say connects I mean it, uh, it used to connect. Right now it's blocked off. I have a big pile of logs there and so forth because we don't want traffic obviously coming up through here but it's a nice idyllic uh, spot. I tried to mow this a few weeks ago with my regular mower, but it was so dry that I ended up in a dust storm. And so now that it's a way to a rain, I get a little dampness out here and try again. I'll mow this down to about four inches. Uh, just to keep it a little bit under control. This is the, these are the, uh, the grass from the seed that, at least some of it, most of it's from the grass that we planted uh, earlier. Uh, there is another lane. We're going to make 
he goes out through the woods here. Uh, but for now, I'll turn around. I should also mention, by the way, that directly in front of us, I don't know if you can see it very well. Maybe I'll back up and try to make sure it's in view. Yeah. Is a brush pile that I've been constructing. Started it over the winter, really. And the purpose of the brush pile is just for wildlife uh, protection. It gives the wildlife a, a place to take shelter from uh, various critters and predators and so forth. Um, so each time I get a little bit more branches or whatever, I pile it on top of that brush pile or around the brush pile to uh, make that uh, a place for animals to have uh, a shelter. Uh, and that's based on a design that I found in the Pennsylvania uh, Game Commission, I think it is, or the Pen Pennsylvania Environmental Agency uh, has some nice work on that if you want to uh, reference that. Okay, let me just back up here a little bit. You're going to hear a, a beep. And I'll give you a tour to the top of the road. You can see it's a little less, the grass is a little bit more knocked down because I tend to, or we tend to drive up through here more. This is where the trail cam has been that we've gotten a lot of the videos from of wildlife. I recently took that down and I'm going to relocate it. The reason being that the grass got so tall up here that the movement of the grass was setting off the trail cam and we were getting a lot of videos of the grass and so that, uh, that really isn't what we wanted. I'll, uh, Pause here just for a second, right about here. And I'll take this down. And I'll give you a view back. You can see from above the view of the putting green. You can see the, get a sense of the scale of it uh, from above. Looks kind of nice from up here. A lot of green, but also as you can see, some brown spots yet to, yet to fill in. you up and uh, in the woods here we have discovered some foxgloves. I don't know if you're familiar with the foxglove bloom. Just stop to show you that. So there's a foxglove, very pretty plant and what we've done above here is uh, Based on some reading that we've done, we're trying to collect, we're going to be collecting some seeds from the foxglove so that we can plant some down in our garden. So we've got one there and a couple over here where we're collecting the seeds. So as they die off, you can see the seed pods receding there on that one. We'll get a hold of those seeds and uh, utilize those in our garden near the house. area which is right about uh, right here is where the trail cam shot across took pictures for several months on the left there's a little bit of a piece of tarp I'll show you that if you can see it here that's basically some leftover uh, material from the putting green so that's the sand soil combination that's the USGA spec material I've got it covered simply to keep the uh, weeds from propagating in there so that I can use it for patchwork after thunderstorms and so forth without worrying about the weeds uh, being incorporated in that. Okay, so this comes up onto the top onto a, uh, a main road. I can just do a quick spin around. down so it's a very convenient uh, access from the main road that's where we'll have the material dumped uh, next week and then bring it down this road with a, uh, a loader uh, rent a loader for that purpose it seems to be a better solution than owning a loader just to rent it as you need it uh, 
or a DVD. Tool. One of the things we like about this electric cart is no noise, or at least certainly very little noise, so you're not disturbing the neighbors. Probably finding my voice more disturbing this morning than the sound of the car because it just kind of rolls along. We got a little bit of rain yesterday, so you see a little bit of dampness. That's good. We really have needed, really have needed the rain. And so then we're back on the road goes up to the putting green and I'll just stop here because this is uh, this is pretty much a uh, just a, a return trip now on the road that goes up to the putting green and once again this will be filled in next week with uh, number two stone and I'll give you a shot of that after we are uh, after we're completed this is the outdoor artist signing off